Okay. Today we're going to be changing the oil and filter on a 2012 Honda Pilot. Uh, I did lift the vehicle up on the lift so you can see it a little bit easier. But coming around to the passenger side of the vehicle over here is where you're going to be changing your, your oil and your filter. Now, if you look down underneath here, the oil pan is right here. There's a plug right here. We're going to take that plug out and we're going to drain the oil out of it. While the oil is draining out of it, we're going to come up to the side, again on the passenger side, and I did take the wheel off just so you can see it a little bit easier. This is now where the wheel would be, and then right in here is where your oil filter is. And then we're going to take this filter off and we're going to drain the, uh, the oil out of that also, and we're going to replace it with a new one. So uh, let me get some tools, we'll get started, and you can see how it goes. Okay, now we're just going to take this plug out right here to drain the oil. Make sure you have a bucket, obviously, to pinch it. And we're going to come off counterclockwise to remove it. And then we just take the oil drain plug out and we'll let it drain. It's a little bit messy, so be careful. Good idea is to always wear rubber gloves. And now we're just going to let it drain out. And we'll let all that oil come out of there. And uh, once it finishes draining, we'll come right back. Okay, now that I got the, uh, the oil all drained out, we're going to put the oil drain plug back in. We're going to make sure our gasket is on the, uh, the new gasket is on the, the drain plug. And then we're going to screw it in by hand. You don't want to use a ratchet on it until after it's already screwed down all the way. Screw it in by hand as tight as you can, and then you can use your ratchet, which I might add is a 17 millimeter socket. And you're just going to snug it. You're not going to go too tight because you don't want to strip the pan out. Just a little bit. Because the pan is made of aluminum, and if you strip it out, you'll be replacing the, uh, the pan. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up. I'll bring you up here to show you. We're going to be removing the oil filter. And I'll show you. This is the oil filter itself. It's right in the back right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get on here with a, uh, an oil filter wrench. And remember what I said, it's, um, it's always counterclockwise to loosen it, clockwise to tighten it. So um, let me just put this camera down and I'll show you how it goes. Okay. Obviously you want to make sure you have your oil bucket underneath the bottom of it to catch your oil. And then what you do is you're going to put your filter wrench on it. And we're going to go counterclockwise to remove it. Once you break it loose with your wrench, then you can unscrew it by hand. Comes out fairly easy. Just let it drip out a little bit. It'll be a little bit messy. And then you can take the filter totally off. And we'll replace it with the new one. Now, one thing I want to show you when you take these filters off, make sure that this washer or this O ring right here comes off with it. You can't, it can't stay up on the housing, otherwise, you're going to have an oil leak. Alright? Now, when you have your, your new filter, okay, so you put a little bead of oil on the filter, and then you screw the filter back on by hand as tight as you can make it by hand. No need to tighten it with the wrench, you just make it as tight as you can possibly make it 
by hand and you'll be fine. You can't over tighten it if you're using your hands. Just don't use a wrench on it. Then, obviously, you want to wipe off all of that residual oil that leaked out when you were uh, draining the filter. So we just wipe all that oil off. Once it's all wiped down, we'll lower the car down and we'll put in the oil that's required. All right, let me lower the vehicle down and I'll show you where the oil goes in. Okay, now that we got the truck back on the ground, we're going to be putting the oil in. And the oil in this particular case is it's in a really kind of a tight spot down here. It's right down in, in, in the front of the engine right over here. And uh, we'll take that cap off. And what you got to make sure is that you use the correct motor oil. As you can see, this particular vehicle calls for 0 W20. You have to make sure you use the correct oil, otherwise you're going to have a problem with the engine. Um, and the dealer won't stand behind any kind of warranty with it for using the incorrect oil. So use the right oil that's recommended for the vehicle. Uh, in this case, it's 0 20. So let me get a funnel and we're going to get in there and we're going to put the oil back in. Uh, I know from looking it up on the computer that this particular car takes uh, uh, 5.3 5 uh, quarts of oil, which is the, uh, it's a full synthetic motor oil. So I use a very long funnel to get down in there and uh, we'll put the oil in and we'll just start it up. Sure you use the uh, zero 020 that, is, that it calls for, and it's a full synthetic motor oil that goes in there. Okay, after you get your oil in, you're obviously going to take your, uh, your funnel out, and we're going to put the oil cap back on, and then we'll check the oil level to make sure it's full. Alright, make sure your cap goes back on. Now we just start it up and let it run for a minute. And after it runs for a minute, we're just going to let it sit, let the oil run down into the, uh, to the pan, and then we're going to check the level to make sure that it's, uh, that it's full. Now the dipstick itself is down in here. We're going to pull this stick out. You just take it out of the engine. And I'm going to show you. Just wipe it down and, and we're going to put it back in. And check the level to make sure it's full. You just wipe the stick down. And you put it right back in. Push it all the way down as far as it can go. to make sure it's full, which is exactly to the full mark right now. So that's it. We're all done. Uh, just put our stick back in and make sure it's pushed in all the way. And that's it. We're good to go. All right. So uh, just look underneath the vehicle, make sure there's no leaks, that everything is nice and dry. And that's it. You're all done. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.